algebraic expressions. Remember, we are revising KCSC mathematics questions that have come in the past. Let us get the concepts. So, part two of algebraic expressions. We go direct to the questions. We go direct to the questions. Number one. The first question is, simplify the expression this. 16m squared. 16m squared minus 9 squared divided by this. It was carrying three marks in year 2013. So, solution. Come and write down your numerator. Symbolize it with letter N. You write 16m squared minus 9n squared. So, how do you factorize this expression, Lana? How do you factorize this expression? This is an expression of two squares with a difference. If you look at this one, this is a square. 16 m squared, you can be able to find it, squared. 9 m squared, it is possible to find it, squared. And therefore, this is an expression of two squares with a difference. Remember the, the what? Uh, the algebraic identity. Remember the algebraic identity a squared minus b squared. This normally gives us what? Remember, this is form to work. This normally gives us what? Square root of these. You see, these are two squares with a difference. It's like you say, square root of a squared gives you a. Square root of b squared gives you b. In the first bracket, add. In the second, you subtract. So this is the concept that you're going to apply here. So, this one now gives you what? Square root of 16 squared is what? It is 4m. Square root of 16 squared is 4m. You can write it here. Square root of 9m squared is what? 3m. Square root of 9m squared is 3m. Come and write it here, 3m. So in the first bracket you add, in the second, you write the same terms, but you subtract. Good. So this is the factorization of the numerator. We go to the denominator. Symbolize it with letter D. Relate it. 4m squared minus mn minus 3m squared. So you write product sum. Factorize it. So what is the product? The product will be 4 times negative 3. 4 times negative 3 gives you negative 12. What about the sum? The sum, you go to the middle term there and you pick the coefficient. What is the coefficient here? It is minus 1. Although you cannot see 1, 1 should be here, so it should be minus 1, the coefficient of the middle term. Then, you look for the two numbers that you add to get negative 1, and you multiply to get negative 12. What are the two numbers? The two numbers are 3 and negative 4. 3 times negative 4, yes. So the two numbers are 3 and negative 4. Go and substitute them in the middle term. So you write 4m squared plus, you see, plus 3 multiplying mn minus 4 multiplying mn minus 3n squared. Factorize the first two. Yes, factorize the first two. What is common here? You have m squared and m. m is common. And nothing else is common. So what will you be left with inside? 4m squared divided by m. m will cancel out, so you'll be left with 4m plus 3mn divided by m. m will cancel out, you'll be left with 3 n. Come and write this minus here. Don't skip it. Then, 
come and now factorize, um, factor out, factor out what is common. What is common is uh, you have n here and n squared. So factor out n, again put a bracket. What will you be left with? 4mn divided by n, n will go, so you'll be left with 4m. Here, write a plus. Why do you write a plus and not a minus? So that if you removed, if you, you removed the bracket, you'd say minus times plus. Minus times plus would give us this minus there. So don't write my, a minus here. If you wrote a minus, minus times minus would give you a plus, which would be wrong. So this should be a plus. Then you come and talk of 3n squared divided by n. You'll be left with 3n. Good. So come now and look at this. This and this is the same. Factor it out. 4m plus 3n. Factor it out. You will be left with what, Lana? You will be left with what here? You will be left with n. What about here? You will be left with n. So minus n. You'll be left with m here, you'll be left with minus n there. And so this is the factorization of the denominator. Now, divide the two. The numerator divided by the denominator. Yes. So, take the numerator 4m plus 3n. 4m minus 3a divide by the denominator which is 4m plus 3n and followed by m minus n. Check for what is common that can cancel out. This bracket cancels out with that and therefore you finally end with 4m minus 3n divided by m minus n. Yes, I hope you have understood all that, Lana. Number two, Lana, expand and simplify this expression. x plus 2 in bracket squared minus 2y minus 3 in bracket squared. It was carrying two marks in year 2014. So how do you go about this? It's a matter of expanding this separately, then you expand this other one separately, and finally you subtract. So learn, before we go to expansion of this, let us remind ourselves about some two quadratic identities that can help you to work out this. So, uh, they are called quadratic identities. Remember the quadratic identities? Although you can still do it by removing the brackets, remove this bracket and then you subtract, but this is a better way. So number one, you have a plus b squared and you have expanded it in form two. You expanded this by removing the brackets and you got what? a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. That is what you got by removing the brackets. So you have a squared. It was it's, it's like it was got by squaring a a squared. Huh? You got that. Then you have a middle term here. It is like it is got by two times a times b two ab. You come and put the middle term. The third term it's like it was got by b squared. B squared, you can write it there. And this sign here is positive, if this is positive. Number two, remember you are also you also expanded this. A minus B squared. A minus B squared is very similar to this one, only that in the second term you have a negative. And therefore, this normal gives us A squared minus 2AB plus B squared. So it's like the same thing, only that this is negative when this is negative. And then for Lana, let us apply these two here. Because here you have a plus and it is squared. Here you have this bracket here where there is a minus and it is squared. We go to the first one. So you talk of x plus, you, you take the first one, x plus 2y squared, you expand. What would you get using this? 
first one. So you determine square this, you get x squared. Then you say plus, just like here. Then you talk of 2ab, 2 times a times b. So what would we write here? We'd talk of 2 times the first term, yes, times the second term there. I hope you understand. Then from there, you put a plus, you square your b. You know, this is like your b. So you write 2y squared. And so, you simplify this, this would give you x squared plus 2 times 2 is 4, xy, xy, 4xy, plus 2y squared gives you 4y squared. And that is your first, uh, that, that is your expansion. We go to the second one here. 2y minus 3 squared would give us what? Give us what? It is related to this. So again, you square the first one here. Then you write a minus, just like here, minus, minus. So you write minus. You talk of 2 multiplied by the first term. Multiply by the second term, then plus, plus what? 3 squared. 3 squared. So this gives us what? This would give you 4y squared. This is what? 2 times 2, 4 times this, 12. 12y minus 12y plus 3 squared is 9. And that is the second expansion. So the remaining thing now here is to subtract the two, this minus this. So how do we subtract? You write the first one, x squared plus 4xy plus 4y squared, yes. Then you subtract the whole of this expression. So you put a bracket. You have to put a bracket because we are subtracting the whole expression. So this is 4y squared minus 12y plus 9. So this bracket is very important. Hmm? From there, remove the bracket. This would be x squared plus 4xy plus 4y squared minus 4y squared. Minus times minus gives us plus 12y. Minus times plus gives us minus 9. So, look at it, bring the right terms together. Here we have 4y squared minus 4y squared gives us 0. So those ones uh, give us 0. And therefore your answer therefore is what? x squared plus 4xy plus 12y minus 9. That should be your answer. So thank you very much. Go to go and do more practice. Do more practice in algebraic expressions, and I'm sure you'll do very, very well in algebraic expressions. So do more practice. Thank you. Oh,